What's up guys, welcome back to another tutorial. This is part two on how to make a girl attack fan game. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to add Photon. And Photon is basically just multiplayer and your player model. Anyways, let's just get straight into the video. So in the first part, I told you to go into the description for the links, but I can't really post links inside of my description because I don't have my channel verified yet because it's basically brand new. So you'll have to go on my Discord and you might ask, oh wait, I don't want to go into stupid kids Discord, but you kind of need to, to watch the tutorial. Plus there won't be that much at everyone's. I'll just at here if there's too many people inside of the um, Discord server. But yeah, go to the first link inside my Discord server for um, how to make a girl attack thing in part two, Photon VR, and you'll see pun two, and then it will just show up with this. You just want to press add to my assets. Make sure to be logged in inside the website. See, I'm not signed in, so I'll just sign in real quick. Okay, I just had to log in real quick. But anyways, we have this. Um, once you've pressed add to my assets, it will pop up with this, open in unity, you just want to press that. Now once you've pressed open in unity, it will pop up with something like this. It will say download here, so just press download and it will download everything. And then once you're done with that, press import. Now once you've pressed import, it will show up with something like this. Just press all and then press import. Now once it's fully imported, it will pop up with project validation. Just by the way, you never want to fix these. These don't matter. These are just warnings. They won't affect it when you build your actual game. So just press close on this and something like this will pop up. Do not press skip. We're about to get to this part. So once this popped up, you just want to go into your Google and go into the other link in the description and you should see this. Just press dashboard. Although if you're not signed in or signed up, you'll have to sign up or sign in. And then once you've done that, just press dashboard. And then boom, you have all your games, although you won't see these because these are my games. So what you need to do is that you just need to press create a new app. Once you've pressed that, you should see something like this. Just scroll down until you see select Photon SDK. Just drop down that and make it pun. And then on application name, you just want to name this whatever you want. So I'm just going to name it the game. So, so I just named it Tuck Game for YouTube. You don't need a description or a URL, just press create. Once you've done that, you should see your app right here, or I have mine right here. And then you want to create a new app again. And this time, set the Photon SDK to voice. And then name it your game. So I'll just name it Top Game for YouTube. And then you don't have to, but just add a voice at the end. I would recommend it, but you don't have to. You don't need to add a description or URL. Again, just press create. Now, once you've pressed create, you just want to scroll down until you see the pun that you made and you just want to copy it. Um, so you just need to press on it and press control C, although I don't want to show my full app ID. So I'll just do it um, real quick on off screen. Okay, now that you've copied it, you want to go back into Unity and then you want to paste the app ID with control V, but I don't want to show it, so I am just going to paste it in. Um, so once you've pasted it in, um, just press set up projects, um, and I'll just set up everything, but I don't want to show my app ID on screen, so yeah. And once you've pressed set up project, I don't want to show my ID again, uh, just press close. Okay, cool. Now you have multiplayer downloaded, not set up yet. So first you want to go in and back into the other link in the description for Photon Voice 2. Now I already have it installed, but just press add to assets and I'll add to assets and then press open in Unity. Again, I'll put you on here. So just press download and then import. Now something like this will pop up and you just want to press all and import. Now you might be asking yourself, what's the difference between Pun 2 and Photon Voice 2? Well, Pun 2 is the player model and the multiplayer and Photon Voice is the voice chat. So now that you're done with this, you just want to press close and then go back into assets. And then you want to go to the other link inside of the Discord and it will send you to this. You just want to press Photon VR Unity package and, and just press it. Once the Photon VR Unity package has downloaded, you just want to right click, import package, custom package, 
and then you just want to select Photon VR Unity Package. And it should do this. You just want to press All and Import. Now that you've done that, you just want to go into Resources, Photon VR. You want to go into Prefabs. And then you'll see these three things. You just want to shift click all of these and then just drag them into the hierarchy. Now that you've done that, you just want to press Photon VR Manager. And it depends what region you're on, but it's automatically set to EU. So you just want to change it to whatever. Um, I'm personally inside of Australia, so I'm just going to set it to AU. Just to make it easier, we'll just press the lock button up here. And then you just want to open Gorilla Rig, open Gorilla Player. And then you want to drag main camera into head. You want to drag left hand controller into left hand and right hand controller into right hand. Now you will see that the default room limit is 16. You just want to set this to 20 or whatever you want under 20 because if you're following this tutorial, you're using Photon VR for free. Which, um, if you're not using Photon VR for free, you can set it up to about 200. But since we're using Photon VR for free, I'm just going to set it to 20. You can just set it to 20 and under. Now we're going to set up actual Photon. Now you want to go back to the Photon website and go back into your dashboard. And you just want to copy the app ID um, again. Now that you've copied it again, you want to go back into Unity and paste it into app ID. And then you want to go back into Photon website and you just want to scroll up until you see your voice app ID. So just copy that, go back into Unity and then paste it. Now I've blurred these out because they're my app IDs. I don't want it, I don't want to show it to anybody. I would really recommend not showing yours to anybody. But anyways, we're finished with Photon VR. Now you just want to set up your play model. Just go back into assets. You want to go into resources again, Photon VR. And instead of pressing uh, prefabs, you want to press player. It will also um, show up with this. So just press import. This is for a later tutorial though. And I would also recommend importing this. Now that you've finished importing those, it'll pop up with player name, but that won't show up in game. So if you just like the normal uh, character, you can just keep it like this. But I don't, so I'm going to import my custom player model. But first, um, you just want to go back into assets, make a new folder, and name it scripts. Although I, th I think you should already have a script folder, so just don't make a new one, I guess. So now you want to go into the other link in my Discord and you'll see Fast IK Fabric. You just want to press on uh, Releases and then you just want to press Source Code and it should download. Now you just want to extract this all and then once it's extracted, you just want to open this and it should pop up with the script. You just want to go back into Unity, open the script folder and then open your file where you have the script you just want to drag that script in. And this um, tutorial is just um, basically another tutorial. So there's two tutorials in one. It's how to add Photon and how to add a play model. Now you can either get someone else to model your play model or you can model it yourself, which I will make a tutorial in the future for. Or you could just get one straight off of Sketchfab. It has to be a fully rigged one though. So a lot of people use Robot Kyle, but I'm just going to be using my custom player model. So I'll just drag in the FBX. And remember, whenever you're importing any um, 3D model into Unity, you want it to be an FBX. I forgot that you need to unlock um, Photon VR Manager. Before you um, set it down, actually, you just need to right click on it. And then you just want to go to prefab and unpack completely. Now you might think that it's good, but the eyes are like in the middle of the head. So you just need to move this back a bit. It will make the arms a little shorter, but that won't matter. Now you just want to add the script to your hands. So first we're just going to rotate the hands. I haven't labeled my bones though, so it will be a bit hard. And once you've made them perfect, you want to open your scripts folder and you want to shift click both of your wrist bones. Now that you shift click them both, you just want to drag this fast IK fabric script onto the side on the inspector. 
Now what you want to do is select only one of the hands and then you just want to drag the upper arm bone onto the pole which should be this one right here and then you and since this is the left hand you just want to drag left hand right here onto target and then you just want to do the same for the right hand you just want to drag in the upper arm as pole which should be this one and then you just want to drag in right hand as target now what you can do is you can shift click VR head, VR body, VR hand and then the other VR hand and you can just disable these. I forgot to mention, uh, before we play test, you need to actually drag your play model under head. So just drag it into head and then that should be it. I'll just go back and let's play test again. And then boom, our play model has all set up, our hands work, the tracking works as you see. Now, if you don't like these little spheres on your hands, this is what you can do to just disable them. So on Gorilla Rig, you just want to shift click b both of these spheres and you just want to disable them. This won't affect the game, this will just make them invisible. Now let's play test again and see if those spheres are gone. And boom, the spheres are gone. See, look. Uh, all the jumping works, all that, and everything works. So that's how to add play model and photon VR. Now, if the player model doesn't um, show up, it's likely because you didn't set up um, Photon VR Manager, right? But anyways, that is the end of the video, and bye.